dress today and it's very gloomy it's the day after my birthday if y'all want to know why my voice sounds like this because i'm not feeling good <laughs> so i wanted today to be like the perfect vlog of me going to the gym and you know like eating really healthy just showing y'all like a day in my life but i realized some days it calls for rest and some days i am under the weather and today is one of those days so instead of like pushing it back and saying oh i'll wait until tomorrow until i'm feeling better i'm just gonna vlog today so i just got out the shower just did my hair brushed my teeth and everything and did some skincare i have like a two-step process y'all cleanse moisturize <laughs> i'm eventually i'm gonna try to get like a better skincare routine but for now that's what works for me and i'm one of those people like i try to prove to myself that i'm actually going to do something before i go out and buy a bunch of products so that is what i'm doing right now with my skincare but we are going to clean up like straighten up the house really quickly um do some laundry and things like that and today will just be like a very chill gloomy vlog i do have a test at 11 but it's online and then i am going to probably make some chicken soup and what else do i have in store for y'all today a bunch of reading probably a bunch of reading some planning um yeah just getting my life back in order i felt recently that everything has kind of been like very discombobulated i would say so i'm just trying to get everything like back in order where i just feel at ease because i feel like there's just so much going on with my personal life and in the world and it's just so much so yeah sorry y'all that my voice sound like this but it'll probably sound like this for the duration of the video we are going to rest today we are going to have a great day okay <music> And then these elderberry gummies. And yeah, I haven't been taking them. So maybe that's why I'm in sick. Yeah, that might be the reason. Um, but they do work for me really well. Like last season, I kept, I was taking them consistently. And yeah, I was fine. Wasn't sick. So today I'm gonna make some chicken soup. I'm gonna hydrate and take my bike. And you should do the same. Also, to y'all, I have been making it a point to follow more black booktubers and book, book talk. Can't talk. Black booktubers and black book talk 
Um, so right now I'm probably just gonna watch some black booktubers, specifically like black women. And yeah, and if you have a problem with that, I don't care, I don't care. But you know, as a fellow black woman, as a fellow black creator, I'm gonna support my black women. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna watch some booktube um, and separate these groceries and start cooking. <music>
too. And as y'all can see, my voice sounds way better. Oh, God. And the chicken soup is coming out so good. It tastes amazing. And I just got done with, I keep saying, and, 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 God damn, girl. Y'all, I just got done with my Africana Studies test. I'm in Africana Studies class. And then I normally have class at 12.30 um, for this Women's Gender Studies class. So I'm gonna hop on Zoom for that, but we're able to take that meeting from like wherever. So I'll probably just lay in bed. After that class, I am going to read I have the chicken soup simmering on the stove. I didn't show me doing this, but I added some noodles to it. And yeah, it's so good. I also added some ginger. I think y'all saw that in the video. It'll be like when I'm cooking, but the ginger just everything. And then of course at the end, I'm gonna add a little lemon juice. And y'all that lemon juice just, it makes all the flavors come out. So if you're ever making chicken soup, like put some lemon juice in here gonna turn out bomb so yeah and then after class i'm thinking i might watch a couple of tv shows my trash tv shows that i like to watch but we're gonna finish probably the day off with just some reading i have four new books that i bought and i started um two of them but i think i want to y'all will see i think i want to start this other one because everybody keeps talking about it and i want to read it before it's like not fall anymore and i'm not in the thriller spooky vibe so yeah i think i'm gonna read that one and then a friend of mine mckenna shout out mckenna suggested like two books to me so i'm thinking i might order those from barnes and nobles while i'm just chilling out i'll probably do a little online shopping too i have a lot going going yeah this is just like a, a chill vlog you know we're just chilling but i think i really want to read that's the plan. That's the goal here today, to read. So, I will see y'all in a second. This is on Mondays, that's normally when I'm like able to watch them or watch them after class. So yeah, I got done with my class, watched some TV. Oh my God, got the camera. <coughs> I am going to read. So y'all already read um, Children Blown of the Blown. I can't even talk. I already read Children of Blood and Bone. And y'all, this was so good. So, I got the second one. I haven't started it yet, but I'm feeling like, you know, maybe I should start it today. I feel like that would be good. I already started the Pumpkin Spice Cafe. This is, like, cutesy, but everybody, I think it was way more hyped up than it should have been. It's cute, but, like, I don't know. Like, I thought it was giving, like, spooky in the beginning, but tricked me honey tricked me but it is a what do y'all call it a not lovers to enemies oh like secret relationship type of vibe and you know i really like that so it's not a bad read i'm halfway through it so a part of me is like mm, maybe i should just finish it up especially because now that it's in the middle of november and i really don't want to be like reading this in december you know so I'm like, maybe I should read it. Y'all, let me, if y'all hear my dryer, let me go close the door. My dryer was cutting up. Okay, then I went to go, I got this, y'all. I started reading Vera Wong's Unsolicited Advice for Murderers. And I'm kind of mad. I'm kind of mad. I got it from, a, like, I got it because a another YouTuber recommended it. 
And yeah, it's not giving what she said it was giving. She made it seem like it was going to be this, like, thriller. Like, I don't know what she made it seem like. But I should have listened to my instinct because when I picked up the book, I was talking to a worker. And the worker was like, oh, yes, yeah, like, this author is, like, silly, goofy, like, type vibe. And she was right. This is silly, goofy type vibe is not giving what I thought it was going to give. And I'm only like, a, I would say like probably like two, three, maybe four chapters in. I don't know. But it's not giving what it was supposed to give. So I don't know. I don't know if we will be ever finishing this. Yeah. Now, the last book I have is Never Lie. Now, the girl at the bookstore, the worker, was like, you need to read this, you need to read this. So I was like, okay, let me grab it. Like, what the heck am I still grabbing? And I got it. But I'm like, should I read it now? Or should I just finish something? Like, so I'd be careful. I will read something, put it down, and won't finish it for another year. And I'm trying to stop doing that. So, I'm wondering if I should read this. I should finish this or if I should go ahead and finish this series because this was good and I'm really getting into the characters Ugh, this is a hard decision okay we'll find out in the next like clip which one I choose to read I guess I've decided to finish this I'm just gonna finish it Cause if I don't finish it now, it's never gonna get finished. So we're gonna start reading. I have my tea next to me. And yeah, my throat is still not feeling the best as y'all could probably hear. It sounds way better than it did earlier, but it's not giving today. So I'm gonna read a little bit and yeah. done with this and okay i lied i think i'm gonna give this a for a romance book i think it was so cute i was hating at first but by the end i was i was eating it up i was eating it up so i think i'm gonna have to give this romance book wise i'm gonna give it a four out of five it's not a five out of five for me because I think it could have been a little faster. Like, it didn't have to be this long, in my opinion. But I see why it was. It's not a long book at all, y'all. It's only, I think, 350 pages. And the pages are really, really small, like, writing. So, not a long book at all. But definitely a 4 out of 5. It was so cute. And now I feel like now I'm about to order the other ones. Because now I got to read them. And we get the read Hazel story next. So that's the one I'm excited about because it's about like a bookstore. And yeah, like, so it was like a little like creepy vibe. But then you realize what's going on. You're like, oh, and I, I guess it though. That's, I guess that's the reason why I got to give it a four out of five because I guess who was, who was doing the, doing the stuff they didn't have, they didn't need to be doing from the beginning. I knew it was that little shady person. I knew it was. I'm not gonna tell y'all, but if y'all know what I'm talking about, you know. So yeah, this is really good though. Very happy that I read it, finish it, so now I can move it to a different part of my bookshelf. I'm trying to see y'all which book we should start next, okay? This is off the table. This gonna get read, not today. But I have these two, and I think I want to start this one. I know I need to finish the series, but I think I want to start this one. But yeah, yeah, I think I want to start this one because somebody was like, you're not going to be able to guess the ending. And I love that for me. 
I hate when I guess the ending. I hate it. So, I'm going to finish cleaning up. Well, not finish cleaning up. I'm going to start cleaning up because I finished the chicken soup. I didn't even show y'all, but I'll show y'all, like, me having a bowl probably later. later. But I put some noodles in there. I should have... It didn't come out bad, but I wish the noodles were a different texture. But next time I know, for next time. But yeah, I finished this, the book. I finished the book, y'all. I'm going to go clean up the kitchen, just wipe everything down. And then I'm going to probably shower first, then start this one for the night. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And I am going to probably order the Pumpkin Spice Cafe on Barnes & Noble. So I get my stamp. If you know, you know. They didn't give me my five dollar reward, okay? Yeah. But yeah. I'll see y'all in a second. So I just got out the shower. And I made some garlic bread out of these Hawaiian slider rolls because they didn't have any more Hawaiian bread left at the store. So, you know, you got to do what you got to do. But they came out really, really good. So, I decided on reading Never Lie. That's the next book. I figured because it's like fall is almost ending and we're about to transition into winter, I might as well read this one. And also, too... It's dark out, still kind of gloomy, so it's giving like, you know, thriller, I guess. Someone said this is like a thriller. I hope they didn't lie to me. We'll find out. And it says sometimes the truth kills. Somebody dying. I love to see it. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, um, I'm going to read this and then... Depending on when my partner gets home, we'll have dinner, probably watch a movie, and then I'll call it a night. So that's actually the end of the vlog. I ate dinner and now I'm laying down. I'm about to go to bed. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you for watching the video. I really appreciate it. And yeah, tell me if you made it all the way this far. If you're reading like a book of any kind right now, tell me what book you're reading in the comments. I would love to know. All right, y'all. And I will see y'all later. Peace out.